All right, hey guys. So I forgot to turn on the camera before I even started. So I have a little sample here I'm trying of some primer, which I will probably never ever buy because MAC is way too expensive for my budget ever, 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 ever. Um, it is the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiant Base. So I'm trying this out first. <sighs> doesn't feel I like hydrating primers and it does not feel hydrating at all um I need to figure out a good hydrating primer this feels like I don't know I don't know I just feel like it's not even doing anything but it is a free sample, so we will just try and go on. Uh uh, come back here, little miss ma'am. Uh, Judy Boo. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> this cushion my mom got me. Ugh. Because I have back problems because I've been a CNA forever. It's boosting mist. I don't know if this is supposed to go on. It's another sample thing um, of Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. I don't know if it's supposed to go on before or after. So we're gonna put it on before and find out. Who that stinks. Wet and wild concealer onto some areas that need a lot of coverage. Like my scarring above my lid. That to me looks like a mustache and apparently to some other people it does too. So we're just gonna go ahead and try to put some of that over there first. A little mama nose. A little over this top. Today we are using a mixture of Rimmel Match Perfection in the color no idea because it doesn't show in here and by the way it's expired and we're gonna use it anyway um i don't even see the color number whatever it's in this one it's lighter um and then we're gonna use the l'oreal 24 hour foundation infallible pro glow and it doesn't say what color either because oh there it is 204 natural nat natural beige we're just gonna put a little on it. This one's just a little bit too dark. The other one's just a little bit too light. And I'm tired of wearing wet and wild all the time. So we are gonna change it up a bit and wear some of these. I'm so tired today because I worked so many hours. So when I clocked out today, I was at 109.75 hours. 9.75 hours for the payday since I was on light duty and then had to go out of town without vacation days. <sighs> I ended up having only four days on my paycheck. That went over well, but I budgeted very well. I'm never late on anything. Um, so I paid what I could for with my four days and really only one thing, two things are gonna be late on my next check, but I called them and I told them what was what. One's only gonna be two days late and they're like, don't worry about it cause you're never late anyway. Um, you know, two days isn't anything. The other one I think is only gonna be like four days late. Um, and then I gotta pay my Netflix. Um, but they just, they don't charge you late fee, they just shut you off and then you restart it. You know how Netflix is. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Put a little bit on my neck, cause my neck is never the same color. It's always lighter. So. But these two, I love the combination of these two. 
in the winter time. It makes my skin look so nice. It's the right color and it, they're both very hydrating. Um, this one is a pore blurring effect and I like it and I need to get a new one of these um, because it's expired. But let's just hope it doesn't like burn my face or anything like that. Um, but that Pro Glow, I really like this. I'm really kind of just like wanting to get a whole bunch of colors of these. Um, I used to love the Pro Matte, but I get so dry in here and underneath my eyes and sometimes right above my lip that it just, the Pro Matte just ended up being just a little too matte for me. So I tried the Pro Glow and I love it. I use just a teeny bit of this um, and I just got this one, this new one, because um, my other one expired. This is the Maybelline New Instant Age Rewinding in the Dark Circle one. It's uh, that peachy, that pinky one. And I literally just put it like right here, right here. Cause it's too thick. I used to try to put it right here. It's just too thick. It does not work. So I put it in here and then I get my favorite is concealer. Um, my Becca do a couple of dots and a swipe, a couple of dots and a swipe. And then I always like do a little extra right in here. And then already over blemishes. I'm not, it's not bad right now. I broke out really super bad when I was stressed out when I went out of town. Um, but the, those are pretty much healing up good. So I meant to use this brush all the way through because this one is so dirty. Whoa. Uh, this is my favorite to put foundation on with. Um, but I also use this, it's an e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I like to use this one too. It's just so nice. I get a little, I tap a little of this and then blend it into the other so it kind of doesn't make it so thick, but it's still nice and brightening. So I tap it out here first and then, so I have some of my brush and then I blend it in with that. Just tap it all in and it does that. Do you want to be on the camera? Come here. My booty wants to say hi. Say hi, Juniper. <laughs> she is nine months old now. Can you believe it? She's so nine, she is nine months old now. She's pretty much full grown. The nanny wants to say hi. Come here. Ugh. Nanny, you know Nanny. She's my old lady. She's 10. Ouch. Ouch. Stop scratching me down there. She wants attention again. It's my little Nanny. Say hi, Nanny. So, me and Nanny. Nanny doesn't know yet. We are going to go on a birthday trip. Just me and her. I've been looking for years. Just kind of not really like planning or anything like that. Just kind of dreaming of going to a cabin in the woods and doing nothing. Literally a week of nothing. I That's been my dream for years and years and years and years. To literally go and do nothing. Absolutely nothing for an entire week. Cabin in the woods. I don't care what time of year, anything. So I decided this year I'm gonna do it for my birthday. And I looked around and I found one in Arkansas and one in Alabama. One in Arkansas allows dogs and one of them in Alabama allows dogs. And so I decided that I was going to make a birthday trip for me and the Nana Banana. Uh, just me and Nanny. We're gonna go and do a week of nothing around our birthday. Um, so I already like contacted the people. They gave me 
pricing and everything, they only allow up to two dogs. Um, and since I have three, I was like, I don't want to bring two and exclude one. And so what I did is I decided I was going to leave the babies with my mom and I would take the nanny for her 11th birthday. Cause you know, with dogs, when they hit that 10, 11 mark, you really don't know how much more time you have with them. You can have another five, six years with them, or you can only have a couple months left. You never know when they could get sick or anything. Um, or we'll stay matte, by the way, in the color 018 Creamy Beige. So anyway, so I decided we were going to take a little birthday trip, just me and her. We're going to go into the cabin in the woods, and we're going to do nothing. We're going to bring some movies, we're going to bring the Bible, and we are going to just do nothing. Because, I mean... And there's okay so the one that I really really like it is a one room cabin and downstairs is a living room ish area um, with I'm trying to remember if I've looked at so many I'm trying to remember exactly the one it's either Okay, so I'm trying to remember. The Arkansas one, I think, is the one with the jacuzzi tub downstairs with the thing upstairs. Um, and the one in Alabama is a loft bedroom. And, like, um, a living room uh, with a bathroom downstairs with a giant metal tub. Sticky. Look, this is a log cabin in the middle of nowhere, Alabama. Love it. And there's a jacuzzi out on the um, the porch out back. The de the deck out back. There's a porch out front that is um, gorgeous. It's got little rocking chairs out front. And I'm thinking, okay, so well. I mean, we can go and we can, uh, whatever, there's, there's go walking, um, sit on the porch and, and study and meditate, uh, just take some time. And then at night we can sit in the jacuzzi. Well, she can't, she won't sit in the jacuzzi. She hates water and I don't think they'll allow it. But she can sit out on the deck and watch me as I'm sitting in the jacuzzi and bring some movies with me. So, you know, at night we can watch some movies. Um, just relax basically, you know? Get a good old sleep. They said um, that they now have a king size bed in the loft upstairs. Dude, I don't know what to do with a king size bed, man. So I, I'm ecstatic. I'm like so excited for this. I can't stand it. Like so excited. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> but like I already called them and got information and, and so beyond excited about all this that I can't stand it. Um, it's just me and Banani. I've been wanting to do this for like a long, long, long time with just me and the Banani. Um, and even when I got the girls, I kind of was wanting to do that. So I'm, I'm really excited to do this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I have to show you pictures, which I have screenshots of the cabin and chose there's other cabins with like bigger beds and more amount of beds and blah 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 but I'm not I don't want that I literally just want a little one room cabin for just us you know just us I would love to bring all the girls, but I cannot find, I can't find an actual log cabin that 
is not stuck to another one or on like a room in a cabin or whatever. I can't find one that allows more than two dogs. So we are just gonna have a me and nanny time. I love my nannies. And she is gonna have a blast just her having mommy time. She loves her mommy. Um, I don't even know if I showed you what I was doing. Okay, so I blended out my contour with my bronzer. Um, Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. Anyway, I like my bronzer to have just a bit of shimmer in it. Not too much, because I don't like the total matte look, especially if I'm putting a bronzer on. Dude, what is that? That is uber blush today. That like over blushed it, didn't it? <laughs> Let's see here if I can tone that down a bit. Ooh. Uber, uber blush. Ecoloni. Eccles. I wanted to show you Ecoloni, but she's eating. I don't you. See, dog, attention. Attention hound. Attention hound. Eight pounds of attention hound. Tonight is my only night off, and I am going to, um, Kim, uh, my friend from work, has not seen the Ecoloni since she was smaller than this one. So we are going to take the Ecoloni and the Booney to go see them. But Annie has not been a fan of going to the nursing home since Mama passed. Not my actual mother, someone that I really cared about, um that was a resident of mine that I called Mama. So I always do the, the Becca cream highlighter in Opal. I always tap into that first. And put a little of that on the face. Just tap that on, tap, tap, tap. Because you know, I have to make the sound effects with it. Tap, tap, tap. And I always put the cream on my nose. I never add any other highlight on my nose. Sometimes I bring it up here, it depends on how glowy I want to be. And today I feel extra glowy. So I mean, kind of a little bit, but not too much. Ooh, look how big the mama has gotten. Big mama, big mama. She is 18 pounds of beagle. With these short little legs, short little legs, short little legs. Are you good? Yeah. Oh, she's mama. She's mama's big girl. She yesterday turned five months old, so she's still mama's little baby. Mama's big baby. My mama's little baby. I really think we're gonna go with kitten today. Taking the same brush, which is an elf stippling brush and just give a little swirl and I think I've used this so much that it doesn't want to go on as well anymore so extra glittery today like I want the extra glitter you know I like that a lot. Do a little, so it's not too overboard, you know? And then before I do anything else, we gonna set the pow tails. And bring out that highlight. And I usually take a beauty blender, not a beauty blender, um, real techniques. I dab it in, but I don't have any of those right now, which is terrible, but I'm poor. My last one just bit the dust, bit it. All right, I feel like I need to add be a little more precise with that highlight. So we're going to take one of these little brushes and just kind of Put it in there, you know, show off the wrinkles and texture today. If 
you scratch me one more time with them tiny little puppy nails. They hear my lap then. Okay, advice for people who want little dogs. Don't get one if you can't stand the neediness. They have to be with you as often as possible, whether you're going potty, putting your makeup on, whatever. They have to be with you all the time. And when I mean little, I mean anything under 30 pounds because my Ecoloni, who is 18 pounds, is just as bad as her. Um, but Nanny has gotten older, so she does like a little more of her time. Um, but this one, this one, you can't stand it. She's a puppy. She's also a little dog. And she is hyper and loves her mommy time. All right, if you're gonna be up here, you gotta stop kissing my makeup. Put a little of this in. Um, this is Unique Moonstruck Precision Brow Liner in medium. God, I won this. Excuse me. I won this in. Um, I bought some stuff and I ended up winning um, some more stuff and this was part of like the thing that I won so uh, I hardly fill in my eyebrows but when I really want to look nice you see this right here I just flat out draw a line in it because that is a scar brush a little harder and it kind of puts the brush strokes in the line and fills it out <laughs> with the tongue stop stop it my mommy filling her brows I know you never see me doing this I hardly ever put makeup on but when I put makeup on I like to look nice like I do it I don't slap just a little bit on a call it a day I try to look really pretty which I know is hard to do, but whatever. I just put that in the wrong drawer. Cause you distracting me. You distracting me. You, you, you. So, eyes, eyes, eyes. What do we want to do for eyes, little mama? My favorite, favorite, favorite is the original BH Cosmetic Shin Exo Palette. That is my favorite. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the Too Faced chocolate bar when they redid the packaging. All right, I had to see what time it was. It's only 8.30. I don't have to be there until 10.30. I have to be there a little early just because um, the women's uh, Christmas brunch money is due. I'm gonna get a ticket. We're, I'm gonna get my mom's and my ticket um, today while she's in nursery, so. You're so cute. Are you cute, Booney Booney? Yes, you're cute too, Banana. Alright, so if you're new to this channel, I have three dogs. I have Banana Joy, who is my 10 year old. I have Juniper Triumph, who is my um, nine month old. I've had her since she was five weeks old. I've had Banana since she was four and a half years old. No, five and a half years old. Um, and then my Ecoloni Grace, who is my five month old. I've had her since she was seven weeks old. I am not the bestie bestie at makeup. So if I do things off, just don't worry about it. So I'm gonna go in with this, this color and the crease. I tend to do that one in first anyway. And yes, this is the brush I put the highlighter on with, so there might be a little shimmer going on in the creasy crease, but that's okay. I really like this as a crease color. I pretty much always start with this color anymore. Um, I don't, I mean, I have like, I mean, you see my eyes are very hooded. They always have been this one more than that one, and so when I close my eyes it makes a big difference to have a little bit of a darker crease color it kind of 
you know, if I'm like this with my eyebrows up or something, it's a little more visible and a little more, I don't know. I like, I like it a little better than like a, I used to try to use this one, but it's just, especially when I'm tan, just does not work. So we're gonna try to go for this one, which is showing up lighter in camera than it is in person. And we're gonna do a little bit of that all over, but just like right in this area. Like I'm not going up into the crease with it. Cause I'm gonna layer some other colors over the two. My eyelids are so dry today that it's making this eyeshadow go on very patchy. You see that? Very patchy. It doesn't normally go on patchy. But I'm so tired. It's gone a little cold outside. So my skin is very dry. And I have Boonie scratching at me again. Boonitella! Uh-uh. Until you start scratching, so you scratch me again. She's a meanie turd. She's a meanie turd. Meanie, meanie turd. Ow, ow, ow. Right, I'm gonna shut this so I can put you up here. All right, now let me finish putting on my eyeshadow, please, and thank you. I need some more eyeshadow brushes. I don't have very many. I can't put my eyeshadows on very well. She's trying to lick my eyeshadows. Will you let it out? And my Echelone's trying to walk off with my, hi baby, with my screwdriver that I dropped on the floor. I'm gonna turn this room into a puppy playroom because I never, I never use my desk. Um, so, and this, what I want to do is my kitchen table, I want to bring into my room because it's smaller and like kind of do this setup that I have here on a smaller scale right next to my bed and then put that table out as my dining room table and strip this room down to nothing but curtains and my headdress. Um, I'm thinking I want to um, put my cross right there and then this wall decorate to a certain line, like puppy wise. Um, I might put the decorations going onto this wall too. That wall, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I may not do anything with it, but I'm gonna put some of that like yoga mat padding down the, like the, puzzle pieces that fit together. I'm gonna do a little, put some of that down so it's very comfortable for him. And you know that that little kid's uh, tunnel that I have for him? Um, I'm gonna put that in here and then I'm gonna put, I have a little baby pool. I'm gonna wash out and I'm gonna throw all their toys in it. And then um, I found this, there was the super kids, super cute little kids play pop-up tent. Um, I saw it at Walmart and it's $35 at Walmart. I found one super similar at on Amazon for $15. So I'm gonna get that. Um, and basically just, and then I'm gonna put my cameras in this room on the walls and we have this, the puppy room. Um, might put print out pictures of the girls and put it right next to the headdress over here on this wall. Uh, so it'll be cute. All right, Bonitella, what else does mommy wants to do to her eyeballs? Do we want to go for a more ready pink? Do we want to go for purple? What do we want to do? I'm thinking I'm either gonna wear a pink shirt or a gray and black shirt. So I may stick to the ready pinky color scale. Maybe a little purpley in there. Do a little this on the crease. It's hard to show you when my booty tail is to be held. I'm gonna go for this color. It's like a ready burgundy purpley color. 
that makes me I'm just gonna put that right on the corner there just deepen up that corner might put a little music to the background of this so it's not so boring when I don't talk <laughs> maybe boring when I do talk you may just mute it and watch me while with your some other music in the background and there I going to tell her She's got her feet propped up on the table while I'm holding her because she likes to be held with her little feet. Can I show them? She likes to be held like this, but like down here. So she can lean back on my arm and have her little feet secure and she can just see the world from my height. <laughs> Since she's so detailed. She's my little princess. And they're all princess. Very spoiled, and I'm all right with spoiling her. All three of my babies are very spoiled, and I love spoiling them. Put a little of this up here, lighten up that brow bone just ever so slightly. <laughs> she likes me to hold her tail too. <laughs> She's fun. Right. Alright. So we want a little shimmer on the eyeball. Alright, baby Buddha. We're gonna get the Moonstruck 2 out. We're gonna get a little bit of that blissful glitter going. So we can go ahead and get that, that glittery outside going, or inner corner, I mean. can't tell on camera, but that's a lot more what I wanted to do. Now, Echo Mom, I'm mixing colors that I don't want to because you're bumping into Mommy. And I'm gonna do a little just, I was gonna put eyeliner on, but I kind of want to do it this way instead. You know, I'm being terrible about showing you what I'm doing, what color I'm using. Slightly. Ooh, that's exactly what I want. Okay, so I end up putting the blissful glitter and sprinkling over a little bit. Um, and then for the eyeliner look, I'm taking this one. And I really like how that turned ever so stinking slightly bringing it out just ever so slightly I am not a person that does eyeliner underneath um, because it just my eyes are too small and I always try to do eye looks that make my eyes look bigger and not a person that wants to do anything to close off the eyeball. I used to wear eyeliner underneath and it just, uh, it just always looks so super closed off to me and I could not stand how tiny my eyeballs looked. And I'm gonna take my blender brush because I have a lot of fallout if you can see it all. Let's just take a wee bit of some rouge powder and a lid Scroll, 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 and then dust away. I find that the loose powder helps it 
dust away easier because it kind of, I don't know, makes this together and then dusts away. Um, but I feel like if I use the compact powder, it just doesn't seem to like grasp and fluff away that well. And then today's mascara is lost. Um, we are going to try out the sample not try out. We're going to use the sample of the MAC Extended Play Black Lash. This I would be highly tempted to actually purchase. I would be highly tempted because I really like it. But I like this a lot. It's like so pretty and so black. And it just doesn't seem to clump my lashes together. Like some of them do. I mean, I mean mascara period clumps, but it's not as clumpy. I don't feel like I have to have 14,000 layers. And I really like a natural look but I want it to be like, you can actually tell I have eyelashes type look. I like this mascara a whole lot and I probably will be very upset when that sample runs out. <laughs> My eyelashes don't, they don't like down. They kind of like do a little bit of this. They kind of just slightly. Um, so I like this mascara that when I crimpy crimpy, it stays up a little bit. I don't wanna, I don't care if they stay up like over dramatic all the time, but I do like that they stay up a little bit. So again, you can tell I have lashes, but it's not like dramatic. I just don't want my eyelashes to blend into my face, basically. I want them to be, to be seen, to be heard. So I usually crimp twice. I let them dry for like a half a second and then I crimp it twice. And they'll probably stay like a little bit like that. They're not super dramatic, but they're out there. I want a specific lip color I can't find it, so I am debating. I might want to go with this brown. But my lips are so dry. Mm. See, I want a brown. I want this color brown. But you see, it didn't go on that color. I really want a brown. I want a 90s brown and a lot of people may not like that but I always liked it. I do have this one that really should have been thrown away years ago because it's so old. It's a bronzy brown a bronzy color. It's called AA Below Bronze from Clinique but this is so old. I can't even tell you, it's probably been expired for like years. But I love it. I love it. So I think we're gonna go with this today. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this. But it's like, yeah, my skin is so dry that it's like. what that dog is doing out there. Let me tell you, if y'all want a beagle, get a lot of food. Beagle puppies eat a lot of 
lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of food. A lot of food. Especially when they refuse to eat puppy food and want to eat adult food, so they eat like twice as much as they would puppy food. <laughs> I'll tell ya. I went from going through one bag in like a month and a half to going through two bags in a month. Like the big, big bags. <laughs> and I try to mix puppy food in there with it. Junie never ate puppy food. She hates puppy food. I don't know what the difference is because, you know, I'm not a dog and I can't taste the difference. But I will put the same flavor in same brand, same flavor, and but, but like mix the puppy with the adult food, and she can tell which bits is puppy and which bits is adult, and she will pick out the puppy food and spit it out on the floor next to the stinking bowl. <laughs> so then I'll have like a pile of puppy poop, puppy poop, puppy food next to the food bowl. Oy, 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 I'm debating if I want to curl my hair or not. I may be too lazy for that. <laughs> if you could have just seen what went on behind me, you would have laughed. Um, someone apparently got into my hamper and just drug. Walked across with my underwear in her mouth. <sighs> Socks, bras, and underwear are their favorites to like play dirt of war with and that's disgusting but whatever all right do we want to curl my hair what do you think at Galoni? should mommy curl her hair for church or should i just leave it fluffy and flower childish you think i should curl it This is the finished look, so I know I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that. Uh, I just like to do my makeup. And since I didn't have a vlog for y'all, I figured I would just chit chat, be boring, and put my makeup on with y'all. So I will see you guys Saturday with an actual vlog. I hope y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and let me know down below what your favorite Thanksgiving food was this year. I don't know what mine is yet, because it's not Thanksgiving. <laughs> but by, by the time you see this video, it will be two days before Thanksgiving, because I'm gonna put this up Tuesday and Sunday. So have a happy Thanksgiving, and peace out. Love ya. Bye.